Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Earth is in a level 4 solar storm right now due to CME impact. It arrived with very impressive speed, luckily not much density. We're kicking the gears with the last 24 hours of our star, where up there, things were much quieter than they were back here on Earth. No solar flaring, no further eruptive activity, and that's a good thing. Wouldn't want more on its way here while we're in a level 4 storm event. As of the afternoon update yesterday, it was a level 4 storm prediction, and that was right on target, sort of. Impact occurred in the overnight hours for the west early morning for Europe. Plasma speed cracked 1,000 kilometers per second, which was in the forecast, but density never even reached half of what was expected. So while this level 4 event looks like an excellent prediction from NOAA, I'm wondering where the rest of the meat filling this calzone can be found, if you know what I mean. Not really, I know, and so do veteran observers. As we see the geoelectric surging taking place, all in the moderate range, I'll tell the newer viewers the reason why the storm hit level 4 despite not packing as dense a punch is because Earth's magnetic field is weak, weakening, because the magnetic poles are shifting. As we switch to the four-bush decrease of CME impact on the right side of these cosmic ray monitors, I'll add that we've seen this over and over again since the March 2023 major field loss acceleration. The speed or density in the solar wind isn't there to explain the storm level we actually get, and that's because our shields are down. Coming with the CME was extra surge through the interplanetary magnetic fields, by the way, taking us into the high level 2 proton storm range. Between that and the geomagnetic storm, it's kind of a mess at the polar regions right now. I'm not sure if they're redirecting polar flights or sending ISS crew to safe rooms, but I'd consider it. Lastly, on the solar front, here are your coronal holes think that southern incoming patch is too far south to hit our planet. Remember, technological, meteorological, and biological impact of the solar storm can occur from the storm onset and for 36 hours after the storm dissipates, probably three or four days of high vulnerability here. And folks, how about something pretty to look at? I took the rivers and watershed data from NASA, then I flipped the colors because what they had looked ridiculous. This is pretty cool though, every single flow inside the continental US. Folks, the full schedule for the rest of the year at Observer Ranch is set. Only thing not on this list is the Experience Retreat, which will open registration in about a week or two. Come out and see us and book your stay at ObserverRanch.com. And folks, big news from Observer Review, our e-magazine. For our two-year anniversary, we're doing a special on the most recent catastrophism studies, all put together. When you sign up, you get two issues every month instant access to the full library of past issues like getting more information than is in all of my books combined with just one click and at a 95 percent discount observer review is the only publication on earth dedicated to the ongoing magnetic pole shift space weather forcing of our world and electroquakes the links are below and we greatly appreciate your support we'll do this all again tomorrow right here right now it's 5 15 a.m in the new valley of the sun eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.